Welcome my dear students, how are you doing? The intellectual odyssey rages on. You all like these revision videos, before the test. Don't you? But first like, share and subscribe to my channel. You can become members too, for a more exciting experience. Welcome to the mesmerizing world of atomic structure, where the tiniest building blocks of the universe come alive with electrifying energy and hidden mysteries. Join us on an awe-inspiring journey deep into the heart of atoms, where protons, neutrons, and electrons dance in perfect harmony, shaping the very essence of our physical reality. Prepare to unlock the secrets of the universe as we delve into the mind-boggling intricacies of atomic structure, revealing a captivating realm where science and wonder intertwine. The understanding of atomic structure has evolved through various models, including the Thomson model, Rutherford model, and Bohr's model, which introduced concepts such as electron energy levels and discrete electron orbits. Modern quantum mechanical models, such as the Schrödinger equation, describe the behavior of electrons as both particles and waves, forming a more comprehensive understanding of atomic structure. Thomson Model 1. Proposed by J.J. Thomson in 1897. 2. Described the atom as a positively charged sphere with negatively charged electrons embedded in it, similar to plum pudding. 3. Did not explain the distribution of charge within the atom. Rutherford Model 1. Proposed by Ernest Rutherford in 1911. 2. Suggested that atoms have a small, dense, positively charged nucleus at the center, with electrons moving around it in empty space. 3. Introduced the concept of the nucleus and the idea that the majority of the atom's mass is concentrated in the nucleus. Bohr's Model 1. Proposed by Niels Bohr in 1913. 2. Suggested that electrons orbit the nucleus in discrete energy levels or shells. 3. Explain the line spectra of elements and the stability of atoms. 4. Formula. E equals minus 13.6 electron volts, n squared, where E is the energy, n is the principal quantum number. Drawbacks of Bohr's model. 1. Failed to explain the fine details of atomic spectra beyond hydrogen. 2 did not account for electron behavior in more complex atoms. The spectrum of a hydrogen atom refers to the specific wavelengths or frequencies of light emitted or absorbed when the electrons in hydrogen transition between different energy levels. The hydrogen spectrum consists of several series of lines, each corresponding to a different electronic transition. The most well-known series are Lyman series. 1. Transitions from higher energy levels to the n equals 1 energy level, the ground state. 2. Ultraviolet, UV, spectral lines are emitted. 3. The Lyman series is the most energetic and falls in the UV region. Bomber series. 1. Transitions from higher energy levels to the n equals 2 energy level. 2. Visible spectral lines are emitted, primarily in the range of red, green, and blue-violet. 3. The Bomber series includes the well-known H-alpha, red, H-beta, blue-green, and H-gamma, violet, lines. Passion series. 1. Transitions from higher energy levels to the N equals 3 energy level. 2. Infrared, IR, spectral lines are emitted. 3. The Passion series falls in the longer wavelength region beyond the visible range. Bracket series. 1. Transitions from higher energy levels to the N equals 4 energy level. 2. Infrared, IR, spectral lines are emitted. 3. The bracket series consists of even longer wavelengths compared to the passion series. Fund series. 1. Transitions from higher energy levels to the N equals 5 energy level. 2. Infrared, IR, spectral lines are emitted. 3. The FUN series exhibits even longer wavelengths than the bracket series. Each series corresponds to a different range of wavelengths or frequencies in the electromagnetic spectrum. These series were originally explained by Niels Bohr's model of the hydrogen atom, which incorporated the concept of quantized energy levels and transitions between them. De Broglie's Principle 1. Proposed by Louis de Broglie in 1924. 2. Suggested that particles, such as electrons, can exhibit wave-like properties. 3. Formula. Lambda equals h, mv, where lambda is the wavelength, 
h is Planck's constant, m is the mass, and v is the velocity of the particle. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. 1. Formulated by Werner Heisenberg in 1927. 2. States that it is impossible to simultaneously determine the exact position and momentum of a particle. 3. Implies that the behavior of electrons cannot be precisely predicted. Quantum mechanics. 1. A branch of physics that describes the behavior of matter and energy at the atomic and subatomic levels. 2. Provides a mathematical framework to understand the wave-particle duality of particles. Quantum numbers. 1. Set of four numbers, n, l, m, s, used to describe the characteristics of an electron in an atom. 2. Principal quantum number, n, describes the energy level. 3. Angular momentum quantum number, L, describes the shape of the orbital. 4. Magnetic quantum number, M, describes the orientation of the orbital. 5. Spin quantum number, S, describes the electron spin. Pauli's exclusion principle. 1. Proposed by Wolfgang Pauli in 1925. 2. States that no two electrons in an atom can have the same set of quantum numbers. 3. Explains the organization of electrons in different orbitals. Off-bow principle. 1. States that electrons fill orbitals in order of increasing energy. 2. Electrons occupy the lowest energy levels first before filling higher levels. Hund's rule. 1. States that electrons will occupy empty orbitals of the same energy, degenerate orbitals, before pairing up. 2. Maximizes the total electron spin, thus stabilizing the atom. N plus L rule. 1. A guideline to determine the order of filling of orbitals. 2. States that lower the sum of the principal quantum number, N, and the azimuthal quantum number, L, the lower the energy. Electronic configuration. 1. Describes the arrangement of electrons in an atom or ion. 2. Written using the notation. 1 squared 2 squared 2p to the power of 6. Copper, Cu, and chromium, crossing, exhibit exceptional electron configurations due to the stability associated with half-filled or completely filled d orbitals. Copper, Cu. The electron configuration of copper is, AR, 3d carat 10 fours carat 1, deviating from the expected, AR, 3d carat 9 4 s squared configuration. In the ground state, one electron from the 4's orbital is promoted to the 3d orbital, resulting in a half-filled 3d subshell, d caret 10. This configuration is more stable due to the exchange energy associated with the electron spins in the d orbital. Chromium, crossing. The electron configuration of chromium is, AR, 3d caret 5 4 s caret 1, instead of the anticipated, AR, 3d caret 4 4 s squared configuration. Similar to copper, one electron from the 4's orbital is promoted to the 3d orbital, resulting in a half-filled 3d subshell, d caret 5. The half-filled d subshell provides increased stability due to the exchange energy and electron-electron repulsion effects. Palladium, pd. The electron configuration of palladium is, ker, 4d caret 10 5s caret 0, deviating from the expected, ker, 4d caret 8 5s squared configuration. In the ground state, two electrons from the 4d orbital are promoted to the 5's orbital, resulting in a completely filled 4d subshell, d caret 10. This configuration is more stable due to the exchange energy associated with the electron spins in the d orbital and the tendency to achieve a completely filled d subshell. The exceptional electron configuration of palladium, similar to copper and chromium, demonstrates the trend of achieving increased stability by attaining half-filled or completely filled d orbitals. To calculate the spin-only magnetic moment for the ferric ion, Fe cubed, we need to determine the number of unpaired electrons. The electron configuration of the ferric ion, Fe cubed, is 1 squared 2 squared 2p to the power of 6 3 squared 3p to the power of 6 3d to the power of 5. In the 3d subshell, there are 5 electrons. Since each orbital can accommodate a maximum of two electrons with opposite spins, we need to determine the number of unpaired electrons. In this case, there are five electrons in the 3D subshell, and there are five unpaired electrons. To calculate the spin-only magnetic moment, mu spin, we use the formula, mu spin equals square root, n, n plus 2. 
bm where n is the number of unpaired electrons and bm represents the bohr magneton which is approximately 9.27 times 10 to the minus 24 joules per tesla for ferric ion fe cubed n equals 5 number of unpaired electrons mu spin equals square root 5 5 plus 2 bm equals square root 5 asterisk 7 bm equals square root 35 bm therefore the spin only magnetic moment for the ferric ion fe cubed is square root 35 bohr magnetons bm radial probability plots graphical representations that show the probability of finding an electron at a particular distance from the nucleus the probability density is highest at the most probable distance from the nucleus for a given electron orbital. Shapes of S, P, D orbitals. S orbital. Spherical shape, centered around the nucleus. P orbitals. Dumbbell shaped, with three mutually perpendicular orientations, Px, Py, Pz. D orbitals. Complex shapes with four leaf clover and double dumbbell shapes, five different orientations, Dxy, Dxz, dyz, dx caret 2y squared, dz squared. The d orbital with the notation dz squared has a unique shape. It consists of two lobes along the z-axis, along the axis perpendicular to the xy plane, and a donut-shaped region in the xy plane. The maximum electron density is concentrated along the axis, with nodal planes in the xy plane. The dz squared orbital is one of the 5d orbitals and is involved in forming complex geometries and bonding in coordination compounds. Radial and angular nodes. Radial nodes. Regions of zero probability density where the electron is unlikely to be found. The number of radial nodes depends on the principal quantum number. Angular nodes. Planes or regions of zero electron density that separate different lobes of orbitals. The number of angular nodes depends on the azimuthal quantum number. The formulae for determining the number of radial and angular nodes in an orbital are as follows. Radial nodes, n, l1. 1. The number of radial nodes, nr, in an orbital is given by the difference between the principal quantum number, n, and the azimuthal quantum number, l, subtracted by 1. 2. nr equals n, l1. Angular nodes, l. 1. The number of angular nodes, Na, in an orbital is equal to the azimuthal quantum number, L. 2. Na equals L. The Sommerfeld model, also known as the Bohr-Sommerfeld model, is an extension of the Bohr model of the hydrogen atom proposed by Arnold Sommerfeld in 1916. It introduced refinements to account for some limitations of the original Bohr model and incorporated the principles of quantum mechanics. Key features of the Sommerfeld model include Elliptical orbits. Sommerfeld suggested that the electron orbits in the hydrogen atom are elliptical rather than perfectly circular as proposed by Bohr. This allowed for better agreement with experimental observations. Quantization of orbital angular momentum. Sommerfeld introduced the concept of azimuthal quantum number, L, to explain the quantization of orbital angular momentum. The allowed values of L depend on the principal quantum number, n, and range from 0 to n1. Subshells and energy levels. The Sommerfeld model introduced the notion of subshells within each principal energy level. Each subshell is characterized by a combination of the azimuthal quantum number, L, and magnetic quantum number, M. The number of subshells within a principal level is equal to the value of n. Electron spin. Sommerfeld's model did not explicitly address electron spin, as this concept was introduced later. The incorporation of spin into the model was crucial for understanding the fine details of atomic spectra and the electron's behavior in magnetic fields. The Sommerfeld model provided a more accurate description of atomic structure than the original Bohr model. However, it was still a semi-classical model and did not fully incorporate the wave-particle duality of electrons or the mathematical formalism of quantum mechanics. It laid the groundwork for the development of more advanced quantum mechanical models, such as the Schrödinger equation, which provided a comprehensive description of atomic structure and spectral lines. Cathode rays and anode rays are two types of rays associated with the phenomenon of electric discharge in gas-filled tubes. Cathode rays 1. Cathode rays are streams of electrons that originate from the negatively charged electrode, known as the cathode, in a cathode ray tube, CRT, or vacuum tube. 
2. They were first studied by J.J. Thompson in the late 19th century. 3. Cathode rays are produced when a high voltage is applied across the electrodes, causing the cathode to emit electrons. 4. These rays travel in straight lines, have a negative charge, and are deflected by electric and magnetic fields. 5. They can also produce fluorescence or cause phosphorescent materials to emit light when they strike a suitable target, known as a fluorescent screen. Anode rays. 1. Anode rays, also called positive rays or canal rays, are streams of positively charged ions that originate from the positively charged electrode, known as the anode, in a gas discharge tube. 2. They were discovered by Eugen Goldstein in the late 19th century. 3. Anode rays are formed when a gas at low pressure is subjected to a high voltage potential difference. 4. The positively charged ions are created when some of the gas atoms or molecules lose one or more electrons. 5. These rays travel in straight lines, have a positive charge, and are deflected by electric and magnetic fields in a manner opposite to cathode rays. 6. The mass-to-charge ratio of the ions in anode rays can be used to identify the type of gas from which they originated. They were instrumental in the development of early models of atomic structure and the later formulation of the electron and ion theories. As we reach the end of our incredible journey through the mesmerizing structure of atoms, we are reminded of the profound beauty and complexity that lies within the smallest constituents of our universe. From the elegant dance of electrons to the nucleus that holds the secrets of creation, the structure of atoms is a testament to the marvels of nature's design. Let us continue to explore, discover, and unravel the mysteries that lie beyond, as we embark on a never-ending quest to understand the intricate fabric of our world. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening exploration of atomic structure.